could she be? Kendra. Yes. Is she missing? Honey, why would you ask that? She was with me in the kitchen a few minutes ago. Then she should be somewhere in the house. Have you checked her room? Yes, I've checked all the rooms. She's not there. Oh my goodness! What's the problem? Thomas! Thomas! Yes, madam. Thomas, did you see Kendra leave the house? No, I never see her. Nobody don't pass this gate. Except, uh, I would, uh, yes, except me that have been here making a business call. Yes, as a matter of fact, I didn't see her leave. Uh, neither did someone come inside the come. Oh my goodness, where's my baby girl? Kendra! Honestly, this whole thing is like a... I don't understand. Where's my baby girl? Kendra! Kendra. Are you sure you didn't see her? Okay, Madam, I don't see anybody. What is going on? Uh, let me put a call through to Kate. Hmm. Hello? Honey? Yeah, good evening. We are looking for Kendra. Kate, are you with Kendra? Yes, about an hour ago. I was cooking and she was in the kitchen with me. Then she told me she was going to meet her dad. Kate, can I call you back? Why are you looking at me like that? Where's my daughter? Are you alright? I mean, why are you asking me? Because I know where you kept my daughter. Wait, look, if, if both of you are playing pranks, you better stop it because this is no longer funny. Will you stop that? What sort of prank? Kendra! Come on. Kendra! Where's my daughter? Kendra! You need to take it easy. She'll be back. Mr. Brandon, did you notice any suspicious movement around your premises yesterday? No, 
According to my wife, they were both in the kitchen cooking. I was in the compound all through making calls. I didn't notice any movements in or out of the gate. She could not have disappeared. Someone definitely took her. Do you mind if you look around the house? Oh, sure. I can take you around. Okay. Shall we? Let me show you. Mr. Brandon, from every observation, your daughter wasn't taken by force. There is no evidence whatsoever of struggle. That means she knows who took her. What are you saying, officer? No one came into this house last night. My daughter should be somewhere around this house. What do you mean she was taken? Oh, Madam, you need to calm down. Don't tell me that! Don't you dare tell me how to react to my daughter's disappearance! Hey, 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 um, put yourself together, right? Let go of me, Brandon! My baby girl is missing and you're telling me to control myself? The police is here to help us find her. Does, does this man look like they know what they're doing? Do they? Well, Mr. Brandon, we'll be on our way now. I'll contact you as soon as you get a whiff of your daughter's whereabouts. That's all right. Madam, it's all right. I promise you, we'll find your daughter. I gave you my word. Yes, we will. Let's go. Just put yourself together. I'll be ready. Um, she's 12. Yeah, Mr. Brandon, do you perhaps know anyone who would want to hurt you or? any of your family members. It might be a new or an old enemy. Could be in your office or even your relatives. Not at all. I can't remember any for now. But if I do, I'll let you know. Well, all right. You said something about Kendra being taken away by someone we know. Oh, oh yes. Someone should trust enough to live without telling anybody. Mr. Brandon, how well do you know your git man? soon as I can. Stop. Stop. Stop now. The police will find your daughter. They will. I'm hurting. Sis, I'm hurting so bad. 
<laughs> I have never spent a day without my baby girl. And I can't stop thinking about what she's doing right now. Have she eaten? Have she had a bath? Oh my god. She's she's allergic. She's allergic to cold. It reacts on her skin. I don't know. Oh my god. My baby girl. Sis, don't do this. Where's my baby girl? Oh my god. <laughs> Thomas, oh God. you're lying. And I hate being lied to. How are they lying? Tell me, where is Kendra? Oh God, I don't know. I don't know anything. I don't know anything. I don't know what happened to small madam. Um, Thomas, look, it's important we find where she is, all right? So, how do you explain this teddy bear found in your room? I got this teddy bear, don't take from my room. Oh. I don't take. I, I, I think I'm inside the, the dustbin. Say, as my wife gave Belena, if she bought picking, I go kind of give my picking as I don't get money now to, to buy this kind of thing for my baby. And some of my dad know they use them again. No. Some of my dad know they use them again. Don't do anything, I swear. Young man. Okay. Who else walks with you at the gates? Oh, nobody, not only me. That may be number one. Nobody. Not only me, they did the gate. Now explain to me how a young child went missing under your watch. <laughs> Don't mind him. Okay, I don't know anything. No. I, I swear my papa grief. I don't know anything. I don't know anything. Why is there no food in this house? Food? Brandon, I've been out all morning looking for my daughter. My little girl, and you're here talking about food? She's my daughter too. I love her as much as you do. Don't act as if you're the only one concerned about her dismissal. Well, I'm not the one looking for food in this house. Why you should be looking for your daughter? Apparently, you haven't been doing much. And I don't know why. What did you just say, Liz? Liz, oh, I'm asking you, what did you just say? The this is the second it. time you're insinuating I have something to do with this. Are you alright? You're not talking to me. Calm down. Liz, Liz. Where are you? Are you alright? I have failed you. I am so sorry. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs>
It's okay. Stop hitting yourself so hard, right? We will find her. <laughs> it's been four days, Brandon. I don't know what else to do. If I don't find her, I'm going to kill myself. God forbid. <laughs> Nothing will happen to her, right? Come on. Take it easy on yourself, okay? We will find her, she's fine. Right? Okay. Me, I don't do anything, no. I don't do anything, no. I'm not here to judge or accuse you, right? Mm -hmm. But I know you saw me drove out of the compound and came in within the time frame my daughter went missing. I won't tell anybody. I won't tell anybody. That is why I want to make you a deal. Listen. I will release you as soon as possible. And I will also transfer one million naira into your account. One million? Yes. But you do me a favor. I wait to that. You leave this town and never return. I can go and we'll come back. I go do one. I go do one. What do you mean you let him go? You let a criminal, a child abductor, out of prison. What kind of a detective are you? Madam. You need to calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. He's the only lead we have to getting my daughter back. And you let him go? Because we do not have a reason to keep him. Oh. Besides, there was no evidence directing the crime to him. My child's doll was found in his room. Is that not enough evidence? That is an old doll. A doll you admitted throwing away yourself. So you see, it doesn't hold water. Um, I'm sorry, that's just what it is. So we're back to square one. Yeah, yes. Um, unless, of course, you, you have someone you suspect. Um, someone who has a reason to want to hurt you. You know, just think about something or somebody. When the rain is falling on the mountain, we are wishing to death you goodbye. When the rain is falling on the mountain, we are wishing to laugh you goodbye. Goodbye. Mom, are you okay? Yes, baby, I'm okay. I just saw someone. We are wishing to laugh you goodbye. When the rain is falling on the mountain, we are wishing the level to No idea, not at all. There is one. Okay. Anna. Anna, who's Anna? My husband's ex-girlfriend. I'm interested. What are you talking about? Why would she want to kidnap our daughter? Because she's still in love with you. And you have been seeing her lately.
Hello, honey. Where are you? Okay, you are in your office. Okay, take care. Must have been hard. I might look frail, but I don't get broken easily. Uh, I I understand how you feel, madam. But uh, you see, this does not prove that she's responsible for the disappearance of your daughter. I know. You know. I saw her again. Uh, okay. Like how long? Ages. You're right. You look amazing. Thank you. So, how about Brandon? I should be asking you. How is my husband? I don't understand. Since college, I haven't seen him. Mm -hmm. I hope he's okay. Transco Hotel, Friday, December 12th, 4 50 p.m. It's not. I can explain. It's not what you think. There's no need for that. Because I know what your explanation would be. That you went there for business, right? Don't put your frustration on me, Lizzie. I've been trying to talk to you like a civilized woman. But it seems you have a problem with me. What if I slept with your husband? What would you do? Iris! Iris! You want to know what I can do? You want to know? How dare you? How dare you? But I don't try it! Don't dare! You know what? To hell with you! Instead of walking around so arrogant and proud, why don't you use this energy in your bedroom games? If not, your husband will keep running to me. Don't dare! Don't dare it! <laughs> Do you know what your husband told me about you? That you're a self-absorbed lunatic and a dirty talker in bed. And once you start trash talking, he loses interest. Do you know my advice for you? You need to visit a psychologist. You need help, Lizzie. You need help! <laughs> You're sick, Lizzie! Shut up! You're sick! 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 You're I don't want to talk about it. I am sorry. Brandon, what did I do to you? What did I ever do to you to deserve such disrespect? You have known about my anxiety disorder before you got married to me. Why is it to mock me? I am truly sorry. No, you are not! The whole situation. That I count when we make love. That is not my fault. That I can't satisfy you. That is not also my fault. That I am broken. So broken beyond repair. 
is my fault because I trusted the wrong man. And you know what? Brandon, if I am broken, it is because you broke me. Please. Oh, oh please. I just want to channel my energy into looking for my daughter. Don't ever come close to me. See, this whole chapter is closed. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Excuse me. Brando, what are you saying? Anna, give me back my daughter. Right? I don't have your daughter. I don't even know her. You were seen around our premises the night she went missing. My wife is not taking it lightly, okay? I feel responsible for it. So what has that got to do with me? She believes you have our daughter because of the argument you had with her the other day. Give me back my daughter. This is preposterous. How can I kidnap a child because I had an issue with her mother? Anna, give me back my daughter in peace. I even like how it will end. I don't have your child. Get out of my house. Anna. ago and you stayed you remained happy in the midst of all this why my marriage my daughter I want to keep my family I want to keep my family so bad I was ready to let everything go and keep my home I understand. But he is cheating on you. Do you think this is marriage? You are honoring a man who has degraded you brutally to his ex-girlfriend turned side chick. Come on sis, you're bigger than all of this. Oh, Kendra. My baby. She's my only strength. Now I don't know where she is. I, I miss her so bad. I know. I feel like dozens of nails have been pierced into my heart and it's so painful. <sighs> it's fine. She will be found, okay? Okay. I don't want you to start crying. I'm not crying. Okay. I'm fine. Yeah, um, Mr. Brandon, I've been going through your gate man's statement. Um, some things don't quite add up. Um, some of the paragraphs are contradicting themselves. We would like to invite him again for questioning. He doesn't work for me anymore. As a matter of fact, I don't even know his whereabouts. That's odd. Detective, stop chasing shadows. Do the right thing, alright? Go after the main suspect, which is uh, Anna Okumpo. Don't try to teach me my job! Then do it right! If it's a daughter that's gone missing for like a week now, you'll be more serious finding her than sitting there telling me rubbish. Why are you being so defensive? Is there something you're not telling us? You're insane. You've lost it. I give you three days. Three days to find my daughter else. Who be that? It's Elizabeth. Who be Elizabeth? Who is at the gate? Ah, madam. 
Na one lady like that, be one madam like that, we say a name na Lee, um, Lisbeth. Let's Hello. Anna. Hello. If you're here to ask me about your child, I don't have her. Anna, please, I beg you in the name of God. Please, give her back to me. I saw you. You were at my house the night she went missing. I didn't take your child. I don't know where she is. Anna. Sis, what are you doing? Anna, please. Please. I understand we had an altercation. I stepped out of line. I said things that I shouldn't have said. I even went physical. Please forgive me. How many times do I have to spill it out to you that I don't know where your child is? I don't have her. Anna, Anna you were my friend before anything else. My best friend. You lost the right to call me that the day you betrayed me. You're so mean and evil. <laughs> Anna, I'm sorry. Please. You have the right to punish me, but please don't take it out on my child. I beg you. Please. Please, please leave my house. Anna, please. Open the gate for them. Leave my house. Leave me. Anna, please. You're making you. Anna, Anna just Madame. look at this woman. Madame. Can't you just have Madame, pity? Please. Anna, please. Madame, a woman Madame. like me. Anna, Madame, please. Madame, Very wicked. <laughs> Go we'll check inside. Yes, sir. Be careful because everything here is expensive. Madam, can you allow us to do our job? I'm not stopping you. Sis, what was Anna talking about? I am stressed out. It's a long and boring story. Does it have anything to do with what has been happening to you? Why don't you spill it? Sis, like I said, it's a long and boring story. That's not even what I want to talk about now. I just want to get my daughter from her alive. That's my major concern. Let's go. You were spotted around the premises of Mr. Brandon the day the daughter went missing. Did you perhaps go there to survey the environment? <laughs> really close. Are you asking me a question or are you are making an assumption? It's a question, Miss Anne. Anyway, if you must know, my boss lives around there. So I went to get his signature on a document because he was on leave that day. You'll be hearing from us very soon. And don't think you're out of the hook. My eyes are on you. Thank you. My eyes are on you. Let's go. What does she need? <sighs> Any lead on Thomas the Gitman? Not yet, sir. You need to find him. Track him fast. He knows something. He's hiding something. I I will definitely do that. I will as soon as possible. Alright, let's go.
You're welcome. Thank you, baby. How was it? Fine, honey. I'm sorry I couldn't pick Kendra from school. I had so much work to do. It's all right. I've already cleared my desk when you called. Come, baby. <laughs> Are you serious? So you're here playing with dad without mommy? That's cheating, no? Hmm. Eh? Someone is jealous, Kendra. I think so, dad. That's oh, what it is. you're supporting your dad. <laughs> Don't worry, baby. I bought something for you. Something for the girls. Hmm. What could be more better than a father and daughter? You know, just in under this cool breeze. Oh. <laughs> uh, you like it? Yes, yes ma'am. Oh, wow. <laughs> mm, you're yeah. cheating. Um, I can see someone is jealous. Now, who is jealous? You. You started it. You did. <laughs> <laughs> you like it, baby? Oh, whoa, oh. this is beautiful. <laughs> This is fine. Oh, this is <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> wow, this is nice. You like it, yeah? This marriage. You never said I love you because you're still in love with Anna. Hey, we should be more concerned about our missing daughter, not this. Brandon, you shouldn't have gotten married. You shouldn't have gotten pregnant. Wow! So much anger in there. So much hate you bottled up all these years. My God! Can you quit being a narcissist and go and rest? I'm being a narcissist? Brandon, that you feel I took away your life doesn't mean you should keep breaking me over and over again. <laughs> it's not fair. This is not fair. I have told you, you need to calm down. Just calm down. When did this start? Oh. Look, don't, don't panic. It's just allergies. Yeah, I forgot to tell you. She's allergic to cold water. Who is allergic to cold water? Um, I'll call you back. Uh, my cousin, he's allergic to cold water. Kendra is allergic to cold water too? Yes, Liz mentioned it to me. So who is this cousin of yours? I mean, how long has him been staying with you? For about a week. Just about the same time Kendra got missing. What a coincidence. Uh, yep, I mean, it's... A crazy coincidence. Oh. Yeah. Hello, detective. What? Uh, um. Mr. Brandon, your game is up. Now, start talking. Talk about what exactly? Uh -huh. Why did you kill your daughter? I did not kill my child! Oh, he's still acting. Quit playing games with me! 
Now, you transfer the sum of one million naira to your gate man, Thomas. Oh, he shot. He thought we won't know. But do you want more evidence? Go and get me, Thomas. Yes, sir. Sis, calm down. We are running late. this in your room. Where did you find it? Oh, I I found it here. It was stuck in between the chairs while I was dusting it. So I kept it. Mama, are you crying? Uh, no, baby. It's the onion that's making me tear up. You want to try it? Yes. Uh, no, you slice your hand. I want to be a cook like you. Ah, uh, baby. Don't worry, you'll be a better cook, okay? Just watch me do it. Oh, my baby girl. This was the ribbon she was putting on the night she went missing. Really? Oh, Mrs. Brennan, there will be any need for that now because we already know where your daughter is. You found my little girl. Oh my god, how did you hear that? Yes, I did. Where is she? Oh, Brandon will be treated to hear this. Please, sir, take me to her. Well, I have good news and I have bad news. So. I'll go with the good news first. Okay. The good news is we know who is responsible for the disappearance of your daughter. Wow. And the bad news is your daughter might be dead. What? <laughs> Wait, tell me you're joking, right? Detective. What in God's name are you talking about? We arrested your gate man, Thomas, and we discovered the sum of one million naira in his account. Transferred by your husband, Mr. Brandon Madike, to buy his silence. Madam! Sis! Madam! Sis! Sis! Madam. Sis. Feel. Yeah, I'm okay. I had a dream. A dream? A terrible one. A bad dream. Detective James was saying something about Brandon killing Kendra. Since you were there too. Yes, I was there. So it wasn't a dream. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <sighs> I must commend you for your acting skills, Mr. Brandon Wadike. Bravo! I need to contact my lawyer now. Not until you tell me where you buried your daughter. 
or at least did you throw her body away after killing her? I did not kill my child. Then where is the bag you sneaked out of your house with on the day your daughter went missing? Where is the bag? I haven't done anything like that. Why should I kill my child? Because she's a product of a one night stand. And the reason you are not with the woman you truly love. You're insane. Oh. It's painful to learn the truth, right? I want to see my wife. Your wife? <laughs> Your wife. Your face is the last thing she would want to see right now. Trust me, you don't want to go down there. Why would he want to hurt my child? I understand we have our differences. He married me under an unusual circumstance. But, but why put it out on my child? She's innocent. She's so sweet, so loving. Why would he want to hurt my child? Why? There is only one person that has answers to these questions, and that is Brandon. <laughs> Says, don't do this. Look, I understand you do not want to see him again. But he is the only one that can answer your questions. Okay? Thank you for coming to see me. I have been a dutiful wife. A mother to your child. All I ask in return for all the love and sacrifices I have made in this marriage is that you give me back my child. Dead or alive, please. I did not kill our child. Trust me. Trust you? How can I trust a man that lied about his whereabouts the night my daughter went missing? Brandon, you stuffed a child into a bag, drove out that night. I cannot only imagine how suffocating she, she, she could have felt. The pain of dying slowly. My God! I drove out that night. Yes, but not with a human being in the back. Okay, I am not even... Stop, stop it! Stop, stop! Can you stop lying? You worsening my pain. Brandon, you came back that night, took off your bloody clothes in the car, burnt it to get rid of the evidence, and you paid off the only witness to your crime and asked him to flee. Yes, I did all that. But not because I killed someone. Then because of what? To protect us. I may have screwed up many times. But I love the life we have. The life we are creating. I'm protecting it like... Protect us from what? You see? I see. Just tell me where to find my child. If you killed her, give me her cops to bury. Please.
dig it. Open it. Open it. Where did you get such amounts of money? Can you let me go already? I need to go find my daughter. You may be free from all charges regarding your daughter's disappearance, but you're not a free man, Mr. Brandon Wadike. Hiding such amount of money deep into the forest where no one can trace it shows it's illegal. Besides, how did you come about such amount of raw cash? It belongs to my boss, Senator Lawson. Senator Lawson. Embezzled public funds, you mean? And you, his errand boy. Is hiding it deep underground so no one can trace it. Uh, you are in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Before you press new charge, allow me to go find my daughter. You're my friend. You can trust me. Once I find my daughter, I'll turn myself in. How are you? I am fine, and you? Brandon, I am sorry. I should have trusted you. It's just that I had a lot of things in my mind. mind hey, that uh, um... You don't have to apologize. You're only trying to be a concerned mother. And while being a concerned mother, I misjudged you. It's all right. We'll get through this together, okay? I'll get her daughter. I'll get her home. Thank you. Extremely careful. Do not get caught. Otherwise, the both of us will be in trouble. Yes, you need to be very, very careful. Ava. Oh. Hi. I I was talking to my sister. I don't care who you were on the phone with. My major concern is this. How did this get into your room? I found us in the living room while I was cleaning. The detectives did a thorough search in this house. There is no way they could have missed this. What are you insinuating? You know where Kendra is? 
I beg you with everything you hold sacred. And I'll pay you any amount. Release our daughter to us. Look at your cousin, she's suffering already. Have a pity on her, all right? Give us our daughter. I honestly do not know what you were talking about. Hey, listen. I don't know where Kendra is. Listen, for the sake of family and friendship, I will let everything slide. Just give us back our daughter. Wait, 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 wait. You and Lisbeth need to take a break. I mean, what is all this? Look, do not blame me for your carelessness. I mean, if the both of you didn't suck at parenting, Kendra won't go missing under your nose. Hey, will you shut up? Don't you ever make ill mention of our parenting. I give you till this night. If you don't provide Kendra, I will call the police on you. Till evening to provide our daughter. If not, I will call the police on you. You want to trust your cousin over your husband? The phone calls. The ribbon you found in her place. The cold water allergy and all other little stuff. They are all pointing at one thing. Kendra. Lisbeth. Your sweet cousin is an accomplice or the masterminder. No. I don't believe you. Why will Hava want to abduct Kendra? It doesn't make sense at all. Now listen to me. If I don't get my daughter before evening, I will call the police on Ava. You better talk some sense into her. Excuse me. Where is my daughter? Not you too. Brandon has every reason to suspect you. So do I. I mean, you've been acting totally off lately. You know, I have been trying so hard to be myself. But you've been acting differently just because you choose to suspect everybody. The ribbon. How did you find it? But I already told you countless times how I found it. So when you found it, why didn't you bring it to me? I'll tell you why. Because you're hiding something. You may think I'm weak, but this woman standing in front of you would do just about anything to get her daughter back, even if it means killing one of her cousins. Don't you ever underestimate the strength of a woman. Wow. You know, you were wrong about your husband. You were wrong about Anna. And I can assure you that you are also wrong about me. So why are you all packed up? Why are you trying to escape if you're not guilty? Now go upstairs and get my daughter back before evening, else I will break your limbs. Upstairs. No need to be scared, Miss Avon. You are not under arrest. I only invited you here for questioning. I am not scared. How oh, could you know that? Now, um, what do you care for? What do I offer you? Tea? Coffee? I'll pass. Alright. Okay, straight to business now. Who is this person you are always secretly communicating with? And please, don't tell me it's your cousin because I already tapped into your phone. Then you should know who the person is. Why ask me? Bold. I love that in a woman. Okay, now. This your boyfriend you are always secretly communicating with. And lying to everybody to cover up. Why? Is he your accomplice? Accomplice to what, detective? Oh, please don't play smart with me. But I haven't done anything. Is that so? Okay, um... Uh, hydrocortisone cream or calamine lotion. It will sort the skin reaction. This is your message to him. 
and this is the same medication Mrs. Wadike uses for her daughter. Can you explain that? Well, that is for my son, Tristan. I have had him when I was in the university. And I have managed to keep my son and his father away from my family. That is because my father couldn't accept him. Hmm. Very touching story. But coincidentally, your son and Miss Kendra happen to have the same allergies. Understand? Yes, I fun. guess it, it runs in the family. And your um, his father didn't know about that? Well, his father has been away since Tristan was born. He just got back recently. Really? You know what? I think I need a lawyer. Oh, come on. Yes. I didn't know you have a son. Now you know. Why didn't you tell me? Hava, you're my person. I tell you everything about me. And you couldn't trust me with this very important thing in your life. I understand why you didn't tell anyone. But why me? You were so attached to your mom. And any information that gets to your mom, gets to mine. What would you have me do? I am so sorry for not trusting you. I have something you really need to see, sir. What is it? Me? Son of a... Call you back, please. Detective James. What are you doing here? Mr. Brandon. Smart man. I'm placing you under arrest for the adoption of your daughter, Miss Kendra Wadike. Is this a joke or something? Very smart man. I underestimated you. You are good at covering your tracks, but you left a very tiny loophole. A very tiny one. Can you just make me understand what's going on? I, I... You are under arrest, and anything you say now will be used against you in the court of law. Now, let's go. Please move. Please move. It's either to go the easy way or the hard way. Now, as a gentleman, just follow us. Let's go. Okay, uh, can I actually go in my car? Let's... No, no, there's no need for that. We came with our own car. We'll take you in our car. <laughs> Please move. <laughs> hey, uh, no, I don't understand. Come in. Do you recognize this? This is my statement of account. How did you get it? When your wife found your daughter's ribbon in your house, we figured the person who has it is close. So we tapped your phones and we discovered that you made a transaction to one Mr. Johnny three times last week and twice the week your daughter went missing. How do you explain that? Me. I didn't make such transactions. 
I don't know any Mr. Johnny. It's obvious someone is trying to blackmail me. Did you find him? Oh yes, we did. But um, unfortunately, before we could get to him, he escaped. And uh, obviously, somebody is feeding him with information. And I wonder who. Was he with my daughter? We found your daughter and um, she's fine. She, as a matter of fact, she is with my men on their way coming here right now. My, my daughter? She's on her way with your men? Yeah, she, she's alive and healthy. But that still doesn't explain this bank statement. Wait. This is a joint account. Obviously. My wife. Your wife, I don't understand. I have not used money from this account in years. My wife is the one handling this account. Kendra. Yes. Is she missing? Honey, why would you ask that? She was with me in the kitchen a few minutes ago. Then she should be somewhere in the house. Have you checked her room? Yes, I've checked all the rooms. She's not there. Oh my goodness! What's the problem? Thomas! Thomas! Yes, madam. Thomas, did you see Kendra leave the house? No, I never see her. Nobody don't pass these gates. Except, uh, I would, uh, yes, except me that have been here making a business call. Yes, as a matter of fact, I didn't see her leave. Uh, neither did someone come inside the company. Oh my goodness, where's my baby girl? Kendra! Honestly, this whole thing is like a. I don't understand. Where's my baby girl? Kendra! Kendra. Are you sure you didn't see her? Okay, Madam, I don't see anybody. What is going on? Uh, let me put a call through to Kate. Okay. Mm. Hello? Honey? Yeah, good evening. We are looking for Kendra. Kate, are you with Kendra? Yes, about an hour ago. I was cooking and she was in the kitchen with me. Then she told me she was going to meet her dad. Kate, can I call you back? Why are you looking at me like that? Where's my daughter? Are you alright? I mean, why are you asking me? Because I know where you kept my daughter. Wait, look, if, if both of you are playing pranks, you better stop it because this is no longer funny. Will you stop that? What sort of prank? Kendra! Come on. Kendra! Where's my daughter? Kendra! You need to take it easy. She'll be back. Mr. Brandon, did you notice any suspicious movement around your premises yesterday? No. According to my wife, they were both in the kitchen cooking. I was in the compound all through making calls. I didn't notice any movement in or out of the gate. She could not have disappeared. Someone definitely took her. Do you mind if you look around the house? Oh, sure. I can take you around. Shall we? Let me show you.
Mr. Brando, from every observation, your daughter wasn't taken by force. There is no evidence whatsoever of struggle. That means she knows who took her. What are you saying, officer? No one came into this house last night. My daughter should be somewhere around this house. What do you mean she was taken? Oh, madam, you need to calm down. Don't tell me that! Don't you dare tell me how to react to my daughter's disappearance! Hey, 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 um, put yourself together, right? Let go of me, Brandon! My baby girl is missing and you're telling me to control myself? The police is here to help us find her. Does, does this man look like they know what they're doing? Do they? Well, Mr. Brandon, we'll be on our way now. I'll contact you as soon as you get a whiff of your daughter's whereabouts. That's all right. Madam, it's all right. I promise you, we'll find your daughter. I gave you my word. Yes, we will. Shabbos, let's go. Just put yourself together. I'll be ready. Sage. Yes, sir. Bring in Mrs. Wadike ASAP. Yes, I mean, right now. Yes, sir. Why? I'm sorry. Why did you do all that? Answer me! I didn't want to lose you. I felt neglected. I thought keeping Kendra away from you was going to make you stay back home. I didn't know it would escalate the way it did. You stood and watched me nearly took the fall. Believe huh? me. Believe me. I was desperate. I was helpless. I didn't know what else to do. Okay. Make sure you don't stay in your uniform, okay? Okay. Oh. Honey, breakfast is ready. Should I serve you now? I'll skip it. Well, you still have 30 minutes. I hate to do this to you. I have an emergency I need to run along. Alright? Baby girl. See you later, huh? Okay, okay, I'll make dinner. Whatever you want. Ah, uh, baby.
morning. Good morning, baby. I'm sorry I didn't come home last night. I had a meeting that stretched took a few times, so I had to check into a hotel. It's okay. Why didn't you return my calls? Did you call me? Honey, like a million times. I was very sick about you. I'm so sorry about that, all right? I did not even have my shower. I slept off like that. Sorry I made you restless, all right? It's fine. Just take a shower. I'll make breakfast, okay? to me that night and I was broken I have been struggling with anxiety I was barely in control of my emotions I was hurt I was hurt deeply I felt unappreciated I felt unwanted. I was barely hanging on until you stopped looking at me. And I lost it. I'm exhausted, all right? Um, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, okay? I need to rest. Tomorrow is going to be very hectic for me, right? Let me just... source of my 
endless joy and happiness. But you got it! You wanted me to abort the child? Oh yes, because I never wanted to have a child with a woman I don't want to get married to. You knew it. But you insisted because you wanted the marriage to the detriment of my happiness. You want everything to go your way at the detriment of others. I love you. That was why I kept it and I don't regret it. And neither do I regret it too. She's my joy. She's my happiness. She's my miracle. My obligations are to her, not you! Honey, I love you. I love you so much and everything I did was for us. Who you get your filthy hands off me? What do you know about love? What do you know about love? You're a narcissist. You want to get across everything, you want to get to anything without thinking on how to get to it. You risked that young girl's life. You risked Kendra's life. You wanted everybody to go in for your evil deeds. You devil. Look at me wanting to spend the rest of my life with you. Forgetting the fact you induced my drink and got your way to me. Against my wish, my feeling. Oh. You betrayed me. You betrayed your friend. Your best friend. <laughs> your evil. <laughs> Will you ever see me again? Will you shut up? You don't deserve to be around human beings. You stay here. Get here. Resuscitate your mental health. God's willing! God's willing if you change! Hey baby girl, what are you doing here? You left your food on the table you're supposed to be eating. Are you alright? Yes, Dad. If you're fine, why are you not eating? Dad, when is mom coming back? You know mom is taking care of grandpa. So once grandpa is okay, she will come back. Okay? Okay, can we go visit them? Um, come on, baby girl. Come, let's go and eat, alright? Okay? That's true. My bad. A second. Yeah, it is. That's it. Any other thing? No, but if it's mom, she won't forget this. Oh, um, let's go. Okay. 
So I don't understand. Build me out. You want to know? Look behind you. Brandon. Kendra needs you. I need you. I've not been that perfect man. That perfect husband. But I want to make everything work now. You don't need to ask. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Please, please forgive me. I am a better person. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. 